Hey guys, Mo and Mama, long time no see. Um, this week was um, all of our dance exams. So unfortunately I had to spend hours every morning just recording the kids so that way their assessments can be sent off um, to be uh, evaluated. Oh, and it was long and tiring and unfortunately I still had classes in the afternoons and evenings and still had to go pick up the boys from school, all that stuff. So. I am way behind on my 40 day declutter challenge. Um, so I have a list of things to do, of at least 10 things to get me caught up. Um, and I'm not going to do exactly those 10 things, those are just kind of like a brain dump to help me stay organized. Today is um, the Saturday before Palm Sunday and we're having like a spring cleanup thing. I basically opened up to the public if anybody wants to come help and assist the church in getting spruced up for Easter. More than welcome to. But in the meantime, it's really just me right now running my usual thrift shop, although we have late hours today because I had two more exams to film this morning. So thankfully, those are done. Um, so right now, I'm doing the kitchen of the parish hall. It's not a big kitchen, but it is an industrial type kitchen. So right now, I am doing all the dishes that are here in the sink. And we do share this space with um, a nonprofit group. And I have to say the majority of them are men. And the downside to having a men's group is they can cook, they can run events, they've got the, the manpower, the ability to plan, everything. They're not so good at cleaning up after themselves. And I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. Are they just, they just clean it enough that you're like, eh, it could go back in the cabinet? Or is it just, I don't know what it is. Are they too tired at the end of the day? I totally understand that. I'm the same way. Um, but I, I'm scrubbing right now with the pans that were last used and they're gross and I feel like they have not been scrubbed in such a long time because I was actually able to scrub their name off of the pan accidentally which is written in sharpie so the fact that I had to scrub that hard to get the food stuffs off is a little concerning so I don't I feel like men can calculate how to clean but they don't execute well, I don't know. I, I, and I always thought, and then I thought back to like every time the church had events, the men did the cooking, the setup, everything, but the women did the dishes and cleaning. And it worked. And everything was great. And I don't know. It's a weird thing. Men and women are built and wired differently, their brains think differently, and uh, that's a reality. So I'm in here scrubbing up everything, getting it the sink clean. Then I want to get these side cabinets organized. There's lots of stuff in them. A lot of it we don't use, but they're also all just thrown in there. So I don't know exactly what we have in there or how much of each. So I'm going to rearrange cabinet on my right, cabinet on my left. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but that will at least give me two bags today. Let's see how it goes. So in the church today, you guys get to have an exclusive look at my poor, aging, 175-year-old church. Small, cute, and yes, there are flowers all over the floor. Because <laughs> I have the kids reorganizing the Christmas stuff and uh, picking flowers out for Easter. And we are covering up the crosses as we do for Good Friday. So we're going to be stripping the altar shortly. The boys have been very good about helping. I've only had my raise my voice twice. So they're doing great. Yeah, Ooh, more flowers. <laughs> so they're doing good. All right. I'll show you an update again once the altar is stripped. Okay, so this is what? the fourth day of Easter break. I think <laughs> the kids are yelling. It's like we've finally organized all the kitchen. The stuff that's been in storage is now out back in the cabinets. We've gotten rid of a lot of things. I'll show you a short clip of that. Uh, that we just don't need or use or it's so mismatched. I'm like, no, send it off. 
Um, right now the kids are bringing out all the Sunday school supplies out of the office. So that way I can reorganize and go through them again. We have so much. But I use the supplies for like my dance school and things like that too. Um, so I think grand total we've gotten rid of maybe like five bags of garbage. And we unloaded maybe box and a half worth of dishes. So, yeah. All right. We'll check in with you again, and I'll show you an after. I don't think I did it before the office. It's not cool. So I don't know if you can tell by my face and my voice, but my Easter week was long and exhausting. Um, I spent the whole week, 11 to 4, at my church every day cleaning, organizing, having the thrift shop open. <clears throat> I had the kids with me all week and all they griped and groaned about going to church every day to help me clean. At the end of the week, they felt very proud of themselves and they feel involved in a sense community because they help take care of this place, which, you know, even though your children might gripe and groan, there's a sense of pride to be had after, you know, doing something like cleaning up the place. Um, I think grand total, we got rid of um, three garbage bags from the hall, two garbage bags from the church, a box full of dishes that the hall didn't need. I went through all the Sunday school supplies and got rid of a bunch that we didn't need. Um, found a whole bunch of office supplies, got them put away. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. And the thing is, is like, um, we gave up one of our offices for the nonprofit that's using our hall because they needed some office space. So we're like, yeah, sure. We, we don't use it because right now we don't have a pastor. So we moved all of our stuff into one office and then never touched it again. And it was, oh my God, I should have taken a before photo, but I didn't. The difference now is amazing. It's like I can't. I walk in there and I can feel the free flow of energy in that place. The church feels nice and light because now it, I I feel like it's happy. It's gotten a little tender, love and care. You know, and it's just really unloading stuff that's been there for ages, and not like what I would think of like relics or things like that, but stuff that people have dumped there. Essentially, it sounds terrible. Not as terrible as it seems, but like, let's say you're going through your own house and you have all these platters that you're never going to use. You're like, oh, well, the church can use platters because we have coffee hour on Sundays. So you bring your platters, but does, so does family A and family D and family F. So now you go into the kitchen area of the church Turns out you have enough platters from these full dinner sets that the church actually owns for when it used to have dinners. And now all this mismatched dishes that is still in good shape. So I had to our thrift shop uh, donations to be sold to, you know, make some fundraising for the church. So there's that. Um... And then, of course, the kids also got the vine cut down and away from the church, which is great because it will destroy the stone otherwise. You know, and it's just so many good things happen. Um, and I actually wrote down here, I backtracked because I had like two weeks of my 40-day challenge not filled in. So I backtracked all the different things, each bag, each spot that was organized. So, turns out, I filled it up. I did basically two weeks worth of stuff within one week, which was helpful because these days were dance exams. So I didn't think I was going to get much done anyways, because after dance exams, I have a couple hours to relax and then I had to work. So I didn't have ways to get stuff done. My room's back to being a heck hole because all the laundry backed up because I haven't done laundry for this long. I need to do laundry now. But Lent is over. I filled up my chart. I only missed one day of fish. No meat Fridays. But that's a funny story. I gotta tell you. Because Jesus is gonna win with me again. Um, it was after the dance exams that I realized I walked out of the dance studio and me and my hubby were contemplating where to eat because I don't want to eat meat. 
on a Friday. That's not fish. And then I'm like, oh, I had bacon. You bought me a bacon, egg, and cheese. I didn't even realize. I was just hungry. I knew I had to eat. And my hubby's like, oh, my God, it's Friday. Oh, no. And I felt bad. So we decided to go to the diner because at least I can order something fishy there. And so I order specifically fettuccine Alfredo with grilled shrimp. Not chicken. Shrimp, to be sure. I didn't eat the chicken. And then she's just like, oh, soup and salad. And I'm like, what are your soups? She's like, oh, we have a clam chatter and chicken noodle. And I'm just like, what kind of clam? Manhattan. Oh, I don't like Manhattan. If it was New England, it would be a different story. I'd be devouring that. If it was Manhattan. I can't do Manhattan. So I was like, let me get the chicken noodle soup. I'll eat around the chicken. <laughs> and I, And every time I scooped up the soup, the chicken chunks would fall off the spoon. I'm like, yeah, you see, Jesus is helping me here. He is helping me not eat the chicken. And then just as my uh, lunch plate is coming out, I make the final scoop for noodles, and all the chicken fell in the spoon. I'm like, what is this? And I happen to look down at my Alfredo at the same time. There's no shrimp in there. It's all chicken. And I'm like, oh, Jesus is screwing with me today. He said it was okay to eat the chicken today. <laughs> I did good. So, throughout all of Lent, uh, usually I mess up two to three days of no meat. This year, only one day. And I genuinely felt bad about it. So, yeah. But I did everything else I was supposed to, except for this one paper that I have to write, which I'm doing right now. So, after I upload this, that's where I'm going. Um... But yeah, that was my 40-day challenge. I'm sorry the videos just completely fell apart after those first few weeks. I knew that was going to happen. But that's life of a hot mess mama. All right. Bye, guys.